In this presentation, what is benign prostatic hyperplasia or positive enlargement and when does it occur? The histologic prevalence of benign prostatic hyperplasia, five potential natural remedies for BPH supported by limited scientific studies, and what you can do if you already tried it all and followed many doctors and health gurus but nothing worked. Benign prostatic hyperplasia is a non-cancerous enlargement of the prostate. It occurs when cells in the prostate increase in number, causing the prostate to swell. When the prostate becomes enlarged, it typically leads to lower urinary tract symptoms, which include symptoms such as urinary urgency, weak stream, urinary hesitation, incontinence, bladder pain, and more. According to research published in reviews in urology, the histologic prevalence of benign prosthetic hyperplasia, which has been examined in several autopsy studies around the world, is approximately 10% for men in their 30s, 20% for men in their 40s, reaches 50-60% to for men in their 60s, and is 80-90% to for men in their 70s and 80s. Here are five potential natural remedies for benign prostatic hyperplasia supported by limited scientific studies. First on the list is flower pollen extract. Research on flower pollen extract's ability to treat BPH is conflicting. In a systematic review of ryegrass pollen extract for the treatment of BPH published in 2000, ryegrass pollen extract did not improve urinary flow rates, residual volume, or prostate size compared with placebo. On the other hand, according to a study published in 1991, pollen extracts inhibit enzymes that produce pro-inflammatory signaling molecules which may help in the shrinkage of prostate glands. Also, in a 2009 study, it showed that pollen extracts inhibit the enzyme 5-alpha reductase. The human prostate contains an enzyme 5-alpha reductase that converts the male sex hormone testosterone into its more powerful variant, dihydrotestosterone. Because dihydrotestosterone is increased in patients with prostate enlargement, it is believed to trigger this condition. A comparative study published in August 2003, it showed that pollen extracts are almost equally as effective as the prescription drug finasteride and the standard natural treatment supplemento at reducing prostate size. And according According to a study published in 1990, pollen extracts act uniquely on prostate cells by selectively inhibiting their growth. Initially, human studies showed that 80% of patients with BPH who took pollen extracts for 4 to 12 weeks experienced improvements in subjective symptoms, such as a sense of residual urine in bladder, frequency, hesitancy, straining, or weak urine stream, while up to 66% of patients experienced improvements in objective signs, such as urinary volume and urinary flow rate. No significant side effects were detected. What's more, in a clinical evaluation of long-term treatment using carnitine pollen extract in patients with benign prostatic hyperplasia, the overall clinical efficacy was 85%. Researchers concluded that carnitine pollen extract showed a mild beneficial effect on prostatic volume and urination variables in patients with symptomatic BPH. By the way, before I continue, if you're new here, welcome! I'm Jara from the Philippines. I love learning about new things and here on my channel, I share some information that I've learned from reading scientific journals and research articles that you may find interesting and are helpful. My favorite topics are related to health, skincare, personal development, dogs, and cats. If you're also a lover of learning but don't have extra time to read long scientific journals, let me do the research for you. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so that you can save time. Second on the list is Sapalmetto. Sapalmetto gained recognition in the United States when it was listed as an official remedy in the U.S. Pharmacopoeia in 1906. In Europe, Sapalmetto is the most popular herbal supplement used to treat BPH. Research on Sapalmetto's ability to treat BPH is also conflicting. Research on Sapalmetto's ability to treat BPH is also conflicting. A 2002 Cochrane review concluded that Sapalmetto was effective in treating BPH. However, a 2009 Cochrane review that included larger and longer trials found that Sapalmetto had no effect on BPH. A 2016 review only included trials with a special standardized extract of Sapalmetto called Permixin. Permixin was effective in improving urinary symptoms of BPH compared to placebo. It was just as effective as finasteride in treating BPH. BPH. 
This suggests that the lack of an effect found in the most recent Cochrane review was due to the differences in the supplemental extracts used. Additionally, in a study in 82 men aged 30 years and older, supplemental decreased symptoms of BPH. Third is Pygium. Pygium is an herbal extract taken from the bark of the African cherry tree. In a systematic review and quantitative meta-analysis published in 2000, researchers found that pygium extract helped ease night urination, frequent urination, incontinence, pain, and inflammation. Also, a study in 2012 suggested that pygium could help slow the growth of actual prostate cells. This may help prevent BPH from developing. Another meta-analysis published in 1995 published clinical data from 2,260 to patients during the last 25 years show that pygium extract is an effective and exceptionally well-tolerated treatment for mild and moderate symptomatic BPH. Fourth is stinging nettle root. Stinging nettle root is an herb native to parts of Europe, Africa, Asia, and North America. Civilization as old as ancient Greece used this plant for its medicinal properties. A comprehensive review of the stinging nettle effect and efficacy profiles published in 2007, it showed that stinging nettle root extract effectively improves the symptoms of an enlarged prostate with a low risk of negative effects or toxicity. And in a clinical trial with 246 patients, a special extract of stinging nettle safely and effectively reduced the adverse effects of prostate enlargement when compared to placebo. Moreover, in a randomized controlled trial published in 2005, stinging nettle root significantly improved relief of lower urinary tract, maximum urinary flow rate, residual urine volume, and prostate size. In another clinical trial published in 2000, combination of stinging nettle and supplemental extract was as effective as and better tolerated than the prescription drug finasteride, which is used to treat enlarged prostate. Lastly, pumpkin seed oil. A study investigated the effects of pumpkin seed oil alone or combined with phytosterone F on testosterone prazosin induced prostate growth in rats. Researchers found that pumpkin seed oil alone or combined with phytosterone F could block certain types of prostate growth. Furthermore, in a randomized double-blind placebo controlled trial performed over 12 months on 47 benign prostatic hyperplasia patients, researchers suggested that pumpkin seed oil and supplement of oil are clinically safe and may be effective complementary and alternative medicine for BPH. Studies mentioned in this presentation cannot be considered conclusive to attest to the effectiveness of flower pollen extract, supple meadow, pygium, seeing nettle root, and pumpkin seed oil for the treatment of BPH. Scientists will need to carry out larger-scale studies. All in all, the said five natural remedies may have some benefits for managing BPH. Remember that people respond differently to diets and supplements because everyone has a unique DNA. What works for some people may not necessarily work for everyone. If you already tried it all and followed many doctors and health gurus, but nothing worked, you may find the answer by doing some digging into your genes. If you want to get to the root cause of some of your health issues, the first step is to find your problem genes. Taking personalized supplements based on your DNA may also help, and Self-Decode can help you with that. Self-Decode provides personalized health recommendations based on a combination of your DNA, labs, and environmental factors. To me, Self-Decode is the most accurate DNA health kit on the market because they are able to analyze millions of genetic variants at once instead of a few dozen hand-picked variants. They are the only company in the world that directly provides you with a holistic set of accurate health recommendations based on your genes so that you can take charge of your own health care with data-driven precision health decisions. To learn more, click on the link in the description box below. If you've learned something you didn't know before watching this presentation, please give this video a like. If science-based content on health and beauty is also your cup of tea, please consider subscribing. I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next presentation.